back here with another STI video here. So today we are going to be fixing the common squeaky clutch pedal. So basically all you're going to need for this is to go on this guy's website, Humble Rumble, and you are going to pick up these bolts. So these are special bolts basically just for this job and you will have to be drilling into the firewall and drilling out the welds and replacing them with bolts because over time they just begin to just deteriorate and um, over excessive clutch usage it just starts to squeak so what I've done so far I've removed the caps just get a f uh, flat head right there remove the wiper caps and then you're gonna remove the cowl there's a couple pins there there. And you remove that and then we're gonna take out those bolts and then pull out the wiper blades. Alright, so these little clips right here are a little pain in the ass, but it's uh no problem. So as you can see, let me get a closer picture of it. Okay, as you can see right there, there are two little um like tabs on it on each side. So basically you just Press those two in and you lift just this half of the cowl while you press those in and those pins will come right out. It's a bit of a bitch to get to just because it's uh, kind of tight and you can't really see the pins but just work with it and then you'll get it out. So next we're going to remove the wiper blades, 14 millimeters, and pull those out. Okay guys, so after you remove the cowl and the wiper blades, as you can see it's there, you will have the wiper motor assembly and they look to be 10 millimeter bolts so there's one there one there and one there so I'm guessing three and just the connector so once you pull that out put that aside and we can start working on it so now that you've got the motor off next thing just give it a quick cleaning got my little vacuum here Now we are going to want to locate the spot welds and it looks like there are two right there just under it and I believe that is one there. On further reading I found that these are the two spot welds right here one and two and then three and four is there. There are also two more but they do not look damaged they look like it's still holding it intact so I'm just gonna go ahead and do one two and three and four over there and I don't want to drill too much and then lose the um, rigidity of the clutch pedal because this is all factory right and these apparently these ones are much stronger than those two and those two so let's start off with this one here drill it out with what it says to be a 13 and 30 second drill bit. So we will drill that out, fish in a wire, and then get my bolts and fish it through. 13, 30 second drill bit. I marked the, the four points that I'm going to drill. I'm gonna start off using a small drill bit, so probably like a 964 or like 1 8, just to uh, get a nice guide hole through it. And then I'm gonna go with the 13 30 second drill bit right over so I'm gonna start off with this one right here on the left and let's get to it Alright guys, so now that we have drilled the hole, you're going to want to shine a flashlight like so, right into the hole and look underneath the vehicle for the hole, but um, first you are going to get 
a nice uh, mechanics wire that is provided right here. I'm gonna fish that through first and then shine your light and then we're gonna go underneath and I'll show you guys that. Okay guys, so entering my car, I'm going to look underneath. I have the light shined. I have the light shined through and I can just see it, which is up in this back corner here. But you can see the wire that I stuck through. So, just grab that wire. And from this, this end right here, you're going to feed your bolt straight up there. So let's give that a try. Here. So we are going to feed it through this end, straight through, and tie a knot right there. And then we're going to pull it up through the outside of the vehicle. So once again, just grab your mechanics wire right here, as you can see, and then pull it, push this through onto a nice little knot on this end so that it doesn't fall out when you pull it up. Right, so I tied the knot, as you can see. Now we can begin to pull straight up. Let's give it a nice little position right here because this is where I pulled it through. So this might take a few tries, but let's go ahead and try. Here's my leg. Work it through. Oh, there you go. You can already see it. Looks like it's caught on a little piece of uh, like fabric. I don't know what that is. I can't really see. So I'm gonna get like a little screwdriver, just push it through, and then pull it straight up. Screwdriver just pushed against that little. Um, what do you call it, like insulation, I guess. So once you do that, just wiggle around and pull. So once you get that, she will come right out. So I'm going to put a little bit of silicone around that hole and then also pull this through, put some thread lock and then the washer and the bolt and then silicone all around that. Cause I do not want any water on my feet. This is clear. And we also got some red thread lock that we are going to put on that bolt so she doesn't come loose. So first, I'm going to apply the silicone underneath. I'm going to push it through and we'll get it underneath. And then pull it straight up so that it seals around that. Put some thread lock, washer, tighten it down and we're good. For that portion so now I am going to do the next three off-camera 
it's just too much work just to carry it around but you guys get the idea so once i finish those three i will show you the finished product so just remember to silicone it so water doesn't get in as you can see just put as much as you want because uh you're not gonna go back in here hopefully not so yeah let's continue to install as you can see so this roughly took about an hour so just give yourself about an hour just to do everything it's not that bad it's actually really easy so all that's left for me is i'm just gonna soak all these with silicone and let it sit for a day and then after that you guys should be good to go and it's gonna be much better the clutch pedal is different okay so full of silicone no more water getting in that looks mint so i'm gonna let it sit for a day uh, meantime, I'm going to put on cowl, wipers, motor, everything, and then we should be good to go and let her just uh, sit there. And once I get it back on roads, I will check the pedal and I'll let you guys know how it feels and, and if it still squeaks. Alright guys, let's get to it. All right guys, everything is back together. Went in nicely, pretty simple install. I highly recommend it if you guys are having a squeaking pedal. And it's uh, basically like preventative maintenance, you know? So just one of those you gotta do. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.